Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. IAM has a new GUI for the creation of roles. AWS Glue is now available in Oregon and Ohio. EC2 instances now come with four terabytes of memory. Amazon Connect achieves HIPAA eligibility. And Rackspace has just acquired Datapipe, the biggest acquisition in Rackspace's history. I'm Ryan Krunenberg and you're watching AWS This Week. So this week, Amazon have released a new UI for the creation of roles inside Identity Access Management. And it has much better workflow organization, and it's a lot easier to see what services you're creating the roles for. It also shows you a much better policy summary at the end of the creation of the role. Now, of course, this creates a whole bunch of work for me because I have to go through and update at least five or six different courses with the new UI. Uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing after we've finished filming this show. So this week, AWS have announced that Glue is now available in the US West region in Oregon, as well as in the US East region in Ohio. And for those of you that don't know, Glue is basically a fully managed service to help you extract, transform, and load, or ETL, your data into the cloud. And it makes it easier for customers to prepare and load their data for analytics. It's completely serverless, so there's no infrastructure to manage. And with Glue, data can be available for analytics within minutes. So this is now available in both Oregon and in Ohio. So perhaps the biggest announcement this week is Amazon have released EC2 instances with four terabytes worth of memory. And if you're like me, you're probably wondering what the hell would you do with that much memory? Well, earlier in the year, Amazon announced plans for EC2 instances of actually up to 16 terabytes worth of memory. And today they've launched the X1 E32 extra large instance type and it has four terabytes of memory and 128 vCPUs. So what would you actually use all this memory for? Well, to run SAP HANA workloads, for example, or perhaps big data processing such as Apache Spark or Presto or any other high performance computing application. And if you've got any other uh, suggestions as to what you would use four terabytes or even up to 16 terabytes worth of memory, please drop them in the comments below. So this week, Amazon have also announced that Amazon Connect has achieved HIPAA eligibility. And if you're outside the US, you're probably wondering what this is. I only actually learned about it um, on working on US deals. So HIPAA stands for Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, and it was passed in 1996. And essentially, it's the national standard to protect medical records and other personal health information in the US. So what is Amazon Connect? Uh, basically, it's a self-service cloud-based contact center in the cloud. And you can think of it as a call center in the cloud. We actually used it a few episodes ago to um, talk about our favorite uh, you know, editor to, for code, such as VI, etc. So Amazon Connect is able to handle all your contacts containing protected health information uh, moving forward and is now completely HIPAA compliant. So perhaps the biggest news in cloud computing this week was that Rackspace has acquired Datapipe, and this is the biggest acquisition in Rackspace's history. They are now one of the largest managed service providers in the world when it comes to both public and private cloud. And I attended an AWS user group in Ipswich last night. I met with Tony Connor. Tony's the EMEA marketing director at Datapipe, and I wanted to ask him a few questions about the acquisition. Yeah, it's been a it's been a momentous week this week for for Datapipe. We've uh, accepted an offer from Rackspace to acquire us. Great. Um, so that's really great news. Um, it's by far and away Rackspace's biggest acquisition. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of timelines, we're expecting it to close in quarter four because okay. we need to follow the, obviously some regulatory approvals. Sure. That's awesome, and this will definitely make Rackspace one of the largest managed service providers in the world, not just on private cloud but on public cloud as well. So that's it for this week's show, Cloud Gurus. Keep being awesome, and I'll see you next week.